Hello, this is Andrew from SciChart here, and I wanted to give you an update about our progress importing SciChart to Android. On our homepage, you can see that we've announced that SciChart iOS and Android are coming soon with a newsletter sign up. If you want to sign up to either of these and get information about when we are releasing, then please do. You can do that on the homepage here. There's no further information about these two products just yet, but I'm going to give you a little preview, uh, which should hopefully help us get some interest in these new platforms. Okay, so SciChart Android is now on GitHub as a private repository. This can only be seen by us, that's the SciChart team, and our beta customers. We do have a few beta customers already. The first step is to check out the code and start it up in Android Studio. So as you imagine, I have already checked out the code and there is a branch called SciChart Android Beta. So I'm going to load this up in Android Studio. And the way that I do that is simply point it at wherever I checked out the code and the branch and open the project. Okay, so here's the SciChart Android project in Android Studio and we've tried to keep the same sort of um, number of packages that we have in the other platforms such as WPF. So we have SciChart charting, core, data, drawing and the types are pretty similar as well. So if you're familiar with the WPF API, we've basically got the SciChart surface, uh, we've got Axis, uh, we have renderable series, we have data series, etc, etc. We've also built an examples app um, which showcases the SciChart Android and I'm going to fire that up right now on my tablet. So this is my tablet which is a Samsung Galaxy S3 or S4, can't remember, it's about uh, 1.2 gigahertz quad core so it's not the fastest of tablets and I'm going to fire up the examples app. So this is the example suite homepage, which should look familiar if you're a customer of SciChart WPF. Um, you can switch between 2D chart examples and featured apps and uh, browse the examples and even search. First example I'm going to show you is the ECG monitor demo, um, which basically reads a trace from file and um, it's a heartbeat trace. And when it reaches the right edge of the screen, it sweeps back around on the left. So this is a few thousand points and it's completely smooth, there's no stutter um, and it's rendering in real time. Second demo I'm going to look at is the oscilloscope demo which demonstrates similar number of points. We're also generating a Fourier series on the fly and we can draw unsorted data. This is a Lissajou plot or a Fourier series um, without any problems, no stutter or anything like that. So do you want to see something impressive? The performance of SciChart Android has been severely tweaked and we're actually able to display quite a lot of points. So if I click this button here, this is 100,000 points added to the chart uh, instantly and we're able to zoom and pan in real time. Let's do that a few more times. So we now got four series of 100,000 points, still no degradation in performance. If I hit a million points, you can see that I've now appended a million points to the chart and as I zoom in there's absolutely no loss of detail here everything is drawn so the performance of SciChart Android really is second to none we've got a number of chart types um, that we've built already so we have uh, column charts candlestick charts impulse charts line charts you've already seen mountain charts uh, we've got a lot of uh, features like secondary y-axis. Um, there was another one I wanted to show you. Here we go, heat map chart. This is nice. So we've ported our real-time heat map to Android and we're using OpenGL to render it. So it's actually a lot faster than the one in WPF. Uh, and we're going to nick what we've learned from this and put it back in WPF as well. Um, Feature-wise, here we go. We've got tooltips. So here are some mouse over tooltips. Uh, we have vertical charts. These are popular in the oil and gas industry. Uh, we've got the ability to synchronize multiple charts, uh, which is popular in WPF. And what else? Theming. Here we go. So we can switch themes. We've got about eight themes which ship with SciChart. And a selection of series. So quite a lot of features are already built. I think we've got annotations as well, um, but 
not quite there, but we're, we're nearly there. A lot of features are, 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 um, are built for Android and there's more coming soon. So where are we taking this? Well, we hope to be releasing a public beta quite soon and we're already partnering up, partnering up with a few companies who have taken the risk to become customers of SciChart Android before release. Um, we're going to be publishing a performance comparison soon of SciChart Android versus a number of competitor charts and we really hope to blow them out of the water. We've done a lot of work with performance here. Um, in order to render we're using the Android NDK which is C++ um, and we're using um, OpenGL as well. Um, so we've really pulled out all the stops, optimized Java memory management. Um, the chart is written in pure Java, which means you can use it on in Android Studio, and we're going to be writing Xamarin bindings for it as well. Um, at the moment, we've got 13 chart types built, um, and the rest are coming soon. So the core API is done. Um, so it's relatively simple to add these on, but the team has been concentrating on certain aspects such as performance, um, etc., etc. So stay tuned. Um, what we suggest you do if you're interested is please go to www.sidechart.com and contact us if you want to speak to sales or if you would like to sign up to our newsletters and be notified of release, go to our homepage and click on the coming soon button there.